so-called kacha houses that were built by our ancestors which have survived over three centuries and still continue to stand strong. These houses used nothing but natural materials like earth, cow dung, wood, bamboo and plant fibers to withstand the test of time. It is important that we revive these local methods of construction that were used prior to the advent of cement before this traditional knowledge is lost for good. Wynard is a beautiful hilly forest region set in the western Ghats of Kerala which receives high rainfall throughout the year. Among these lush greens a humble house has been standing strong for over 300 years. Raja Gopalan's cob and rice straw thatched home. It is one of the oldest homes in Wynard. This house is made of thick cob walls where the cob was mixed with the help of cattle. These one foot thick walls help to regulate the temperature of the house. It is a double roof structure. The lower roof is a mud attic and the upper roof is an exposed thatched roof. This attic is made of well-seasoned wood that has also been subjected to smoke treatment at regular intervals of time. The mud attic. Three main beams form the base of the attic over which there are wooden members running perpendicular to the beams. A woven split bamboo mat is then placed over these perpendicular members with a layer of mud on it. An interesting feature of the Wynard thatch roof resolves this problem. The wooden beam of the roof is placed on a load-bearing stone which acts as a wall plate. The wall plate is a member which passes the weight of the roof to the wall, distributing it evenly onto the wall as it has a larger contact area with the wall. This prevents cracking of the cob as there are no concentrated stress points. The wall plate also creates small apertures which let the hot air escape and keeps the temperature of the house cool. Because of the hot and dry nature of the attic, it is also used for drying rice. The thatched roof. Wooden beams and posts with a layer of bamboo rafters form the frame of this thatched roof. These members are interestingly tied to each other using pins and split bamboo ties. Rice straw for local variety is used for thatching over this framework to create an efficient, breathable roof. Since the traditional variety of rice is an annually harvested crop, the straw which is a byproduct has been smartly used in the building of this beautiful house. Homes constructed using natural materials are truly eco-friendly as very little energy is spent to procure necessary materials. Whereas modern buildings spend a high amount of energy in transporting cement or other materials from the point of manufacture to the site. Maybe it is time for us to learn from the past about what works better for the Indian climate and also is easy on the environment and on our pockets. It is Thunnel's honour to document such houses and help revive such methods. To know more about similar natural houses from Wynard, have a look at the series The Forgotten Earth Homes of Wynard, Kerala.